And now, your local weather expert forecast on the Eyewitness News, named best local weather coverage in America by Broadcasting and Cable Magazine. And over the past several days, we've been watching clouds and rain chances, and fortunately that has held our actual temperatures down to more manageable around 90 degrees, whereas they are baking out in Texas. One of the hottest summers they've seen since 2011 and out in Texas and across the big part of the South here, 2011 and 1980 are the big summer years, and this year we'll make a run at uh, breaking those records. Now here back home, we did have one of the hottest Mays and one of the hottest Junes on record, but July has been a bit more manageable because we've had some rainfall around. Now it's been hot and humid, but it's always like that during the summertime here. Today about 90, 30 to 40 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms, so hit or miss like they were yesterday, and rain chances are going to stay scattered over the next several days. Tomorrow still looks like a little bit better chance, and then some rain lingering all the way into early next week. It is thanks to our tropical disturbance and notice the chances of this developing continue to drop. It's now down to 10% and the reason for that is the proximity and how close it is to land. A tropical systems not going to develop much when it's sitting over land and this one is doing that. You can see there they're still highlighting this general area from the Louisiana coast to the Florida Panhandle. That's where that trough is currently sitting and when you look at radar you can really tell where that trough is sitting. It's where the showers are this morning, mainly from the mouth of the river the Louisiana coast up towards the Mobile and Pensacola area. So the trough of low pressure is going to hang down here today. I think that's where most of the rainfall is going to be, but we could see a few storms pop up inland here. So if you're near the coast, you will have a much higher chance of showers and storms today, and some of it could certainly be on the heavy side. So notice about a 70% chance down along the mouth of the river, whereas I have us about a 40 to 50% chance to New Orleans, 30 to 40% chance the close you get to the North Shore side of the lake. And then the rain chances actually increase the further north you go up towards Jackson. There's a stalled front up there. So through today, showers and storms like likely down along the coast. Yes, we will probably see some downpours inland though, so we'll keep an eye on that street flooding potential. And then notice tonight could have some showers and storms coming in from the north, but weakening as they move on in. Tomorrow, a little bit better chances of rain as that trough lifts to the north, so that's why I have rain chances a little higher tomorrow. Widespread rainfall totals are going to be manageable, but there are going to be pockets like there was yesterday in Slidell and over in parts of the city here. We did have some street flooding. That will likely happen over the next couple of days across the region. But notice widespread Lots of green that's manageable. It's these little pockets and especially down along the coast where you could have some widespread higher totals. So that's because that trough is hanging down here from Port Fouchon to Grand Isle to Buras, maybe up towards Pensacola. I think that's where our highest totals are going to be over the next probably five days or so. So there's your seven day forecast. The tropics, other than our little disturbance we're watching right now, they are really quiet and it looks like it's going to stay that way for the next week or so. I can guarantee you though they start to wake back up by late July and early August. We're going to transition back into a more favorable environment out there, but that's to be expected as we get into deeper parts of hurricane season each day around 90 degrees and each day watching for some of those tropical downpours.